Hello darlings, for today's video I'll be unboxing and trying on products from the Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus for June. This month's theme is Do You, which is to encourage everyone to celebrate the beauty that comes from being themselves. The bag design is so cute this month, it has some really fun graphics. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. We have the Grow Gorgeous Strengthening Hair and Scalp Mask. Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment Mask, Gerard Cosmetics Eternal Eyeliner, Tarte Tardiest Lash Paint Mascara, and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Crush. Now let's take a look at what's inside the Glam Bag Plus. Inside we have the 111 Skin Rose Gold Radiance Booster, SL Miss Glam Rainbow Luxe Brush Set, Benefit Professional Super Setter Setting Spray, Thrive Cosmetics Eye Lift 360 Waterproof Primer, and the We Are Fluid Otherworldly Eyeshadow Palette. Now that we've unboxed everything, let's create a look with the products we received. First, I'm working on skincare with the Super Mud Mask by Glam Glow. This is supposed to be great for unclogging pores, removing dead skin cell buildup, and overall improving the complexion of the skin. I can feel it working right away. It does have a bit of a tingling sensation. It dried really fast in just about three minutes, and I've let it sit on my skin for about 10 minutes, so I'm just going ahead and removing it now. Yeah, so even though it really cleared out my pores and made my skin feel silky smooth, it's definitely irritated my skin. It's really red now. So if you have sensitive skin like me, I definitely recommend steering clear of that one. Hopefully that redness goes down, but in the meantime, let's try the 111 Skin Rose Gold Radiance Booster. This is $135, making it the most expensive product this month. It's supposed to soothe and hydrate the skin while giving it a radiant and dewy finish. Wow, that is really hydrating and it's definitely soothing my skin. I'm not seeing much radiance though. I'm super pleased that there's a rainbow product included in this month's glam bag because it's Pride Month. The SL Miss Glam Rainbow Brush Set is a five piece brush set made with vegan bristles and it has these beautiful handles. It comes with both face and eye brushes so I'll be using them throughout the video. First I'm using the powder brush to apply contour. Now I'm using the tapered face brush to apply blush. To set my makeup in place, I'm spraying on the Benefit Professional Super Setter Setting Spray. I already have the full size version of this, so I'm just going to use that rather than opening the trial size. I really like the Micro Fine Mister on this one, but I wouldn't say that it's my favorite setting spray. I still definitely prefer the Urban Decay All Nighter over this one. Moving on to the eyes now, I'm trying the Thrive Cosmetics Eye Lift 360 Waterproof Primer. This primer is really unique because it has a wand applicator and it also has a lot of skincare ingredients to help with wrinkles and depuffing. This claims to be crease proof, smudge proof, and color boosting. Now it does have the slightest bit of pigment to it as well. Let's tap this in and hope for the best with this eye look because it's certainly not P. Louise and we are trying out all new eye products today including this primer and eyeshadow palette and eye brushes so I'm really hoping that this look comes together in the end. Now let's see how that primer performs with the We Are Fluid Otherworldly Eyeshadow Palette. This is an 8 pan palette with a combination of mattes, shimmers, foils, and glitters. The brand is a queer beauty brand created to celebrate underrepresented faces, empower self-expression, and champion gender expansive beauty, so it's really fitting for this month's Ipsy. First, I'm picking up the matte dark brown shade called Queer Star with the SL Miss Glam Precise Eye Brush. I'm applying this to my crease. It's looking pretty pigmented and going on really smooth so far. Next, I'm dipping into the matte yellow shade called Stalactic with the Eye Blender brush. I'm sweeping this along the outer edge of what we just applied to blend it out. That's blended pretty nicely, so now I'm just going to apply that to the lower lash line as well. Finally, I'm grabbing the glittery shade called Quarkle with the flat eyeshadow brush. I'm packing this on to the center of my lid. All of this eyeshadow, including the glitter, is going on really well without any fallout, 
and I'm actually really happy with how the primer performed as well. Next up, we have the Gerard Cosmetics Eternal Eyeliner. This is a black liquid liner that claims to be waterproof, smudge-proof, and long-wearing. Let's swatch it. It's really black and pigmented, and the applicator is felt, but it's very precise, so I like it. I'm just applying a very thin line of this right against my lashes. After that, I'm applying the Tarte Tardiest Lash Paint Mascara. This is supposed to make lashes appear longer and thicker. I really like the wand because it's not too big and I can get to my lower lashes. Finally, I'm applying the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Crush, which is a soft beige color. I love Anastasia lip products, so I'm happy to get another one in this month's Ipsy. Here's the finished look using products from both the Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus for June. Let me know what you thought about this month's Ipsy in the comments below. And as always, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.